Today we are unpacking one of Divi's hottest feature and that is interactions. Imagine adding eye-catching pop-ups, sleek toggles and smooth scroll effects without even touching a line of code or adding any extra plugin. So this video got everything you need to know about how to create some engaging interactive designs with Divi 5. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. So what are Divi 5 interactions all about? They are your ticket for building interactive magic right inside Divi 5 Visual Builder. And this isn't just about pop-ups, it's a powerhouse feature that let you craft animations, toggles and lot more and all without writing a single line of code. Integrated into advanced tab of any module, row or section, interactions give you the freedom to make every site feel alive and keep your visitors hooked. It's like having a creative superpower at your fingertips. Now if you want to learn more and deep dive into this topic, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. Now here are the type of interactions that we can create in Divi 5 Visual Builder. Let's take a few examples one by one. Alright, so let's dive in into our Divi 5 Visual Builder and see how interactions work. So here we have created a sample page and on this page we have various interactions implemented. So first we have this toggle one. So if we click on this button, we can see this toggle section opening up and we can also close this section by using this icon here. If we click on this, it's gone. And if we scroll down a little bit more, here we have an image. If we mouse over on this, it scales up. And if we scroll down a little bit more, this image have got a tilt effect once we mouse over on this. So we can add these kind of animations as interaction on our page. Along with that, if we refresh this page, we have an on load pop-up as well. Let me show you that. So if we refresh this page and it got a delay of five seconds. So if we scroll down, here it is. So we have this contact form as a pop-up and we also have this close button. So if we click on this, it's gone. So these are some of the examples that we are going to implement in this demo. But again, sky is the limit of what you can do with interactions. So let's come back here in our backend. So this is our visual builder and here we have created our page. But right now we see this pop-up because it's actually assigned a fixed position. So let me just go ahead and remove this first so that we will work on this later on. So I click on this section and I go to advance and then I go to position and instead of fixed, I'll change it to default. So it will just add at the bottom of our page like this. So let me just go ahead and save it right now. And then we will start working on all the interactions that we have implemented. So now we start with our first point and that is where we can find the interaction options. So let's say we want to add some animation to this image. So we click on this. And if we go in advanced tab, here we have a new option added that is interactions. If we click on this, we have an option to add interaction. So this is where you can find all the interactions. So no matter you are on a module or on a row or maybe on a section, you can go to advance and you will find interactions for that particular item. But in this case, we click on this image and let's see how we can add a scale interaction for this image as soon as we mouse over on it. Now on the left hand side in the layers panel, we have given it a label. So you can do that by clicking on admin label here on the right hand side panel or you can simply double click on it and rename it. And once you have given it a name, then we can go to advance and then click on interactions. And in order to add a new interaction, just click on this button. And here are the options how we want this interaction to trigger. Either we can use click, mouse enter, mouse exit viewport enter or viewport exit or even on load of page. But for this kind of animation or interaction, we are going to use mouse enter. So let's click on this. Now this opens up a new pop-up window where we need to enter all the details about our interaction. 
So first, let's give it a name. We call it scale IMG just to give it a label. And then we have already selected our trigger event that is mouse enter. Now we have an option for action. What should happen once mouse enter on this image? So right now it is selected on toggle visibility. But instead of that, we need to select mirror mouse movement. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of other actions that we can play around with. But right now for this example, we need to use mirror mouse movement. And then we have an option to select module where we want to add this interaction. So in this case, we have pretty obvious that you want to add this on image. So we are going to click on this and then we have all the modules added on this page. So that's why we gave it a name in the very beginning so that it becomes easier to find our module in this list. So all we need to do is just search for about and here is our about us image. Let's click on this and we can add a time delay as well. And here we have an option for movement type. We click on scale for this example. And we have an option for sensitivity. So we just choose 10 for this one. Otherwise it will become huge once the mouse over happens. And then we just need to click on save. Now save our page and let's refresh our front end. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. And as soon as you mouse over on this image, you can see it's getting scaled up like this. In the same way, we have implemented this effect. And if I go back in our backend and click on this image, we have added this interaction or this animation on the column. So we click on this column. We go to advance. Again, we have interactions. And then we have added this tilt column animation. So we click on this. And again, we have used the mouse enter and we use the action as mirror movement and we have selected our target column and once again it becomes super easy once you have added some admin label to it so we just search the column in the list selected that here and if we scroll down this time instead of scale we have selected tilt and we have given it a sensitivity of 30 so that we can have a good movement of tilt you can increase it if you want a little bit more of tilt so you can play around with this as per your requirement. Let's go ahead and save it. And again, if we refresh our page, here is our tilt animation. So that's how we can add this interaction of animation on various modules of our page. Now next, let's see how we can create this toggle effect. So if we go in our front end and if we click on this button, this is our toggle panel. And if we use this icon here, we can also close this toggle panel. So let's see how we have created this. So we come back here in our backend and here is our section which we want to toggle. But right now we have turned off its visibility on all the devices because once the page load, we don't want to show this section by default. We only want to show this section once we click on this button here. So that's why we go to advance, we go to visibility, we have turned off the visibility on all the devices. Now, in order to open this section or this toggle panel, we have created a different button here and we have added the interaction of opening this panel or making it visible on the click event of this button. Let me show you how it works. So we click on this button settings and once again, make sure you always do the admin labels so it's easy for you to find it in the module list. So coming back to our button here, we go to advance and then again click on interactions. And if we click on the settings, this is all we have done here. So we have given it a label just for the admin label and we have used the click event of this button. And what should happen after the click event? In the action, we have show element. And then we have selected our target module, which is our section, which is called as all section list, which we can see the name here, all section list. And we want the time delay of zero millisecond or zero seconds. So if we save this and save our page, and if we refresh it and we click on this button, it opens up this panel. 
Now how we have added this close button? Let's go back to this. So if we scroll down, here we have this icon and if we go to advance and then click on interaction, we have added an interaction on this icon. Let's see what we have done in the settings. We click on this setting icon here. Again, we gave it a name and we again use the click event trigger. So the interaction should happen once we click on this icon. And in the action, we want to hide something. So we have selected hide element in this. And in the last option, the target module, we have selected again our all service list box or the all service list section. So once the user click on this icon, this entire section becomes hidden. And in the front end, if we click on this icon, it closes or hides this particular section. So that's how we can create this hide and show panel and we can use it in various scenarios. All right, so let's talk about the final one and that is our pop-up. So here we have designed a pop-up at the bottom of our page. You can add anything in your designing and use it as your pop-up. So we come back here in our visual builder. Here is our pop-up that we have designed. Once again, we have kept it invisible or disabled the visibility on all the devices because we want to show this as a pop-up. So here you can see the visibility is turned off on all the devices and in order to make it as a pop-up and as we are going to use it as on page load pop-up, we don't need any trigger module. The trigger will be on page event as soon as the page loads. But we definitely need a button which can be used to close this pop-up. And here is this icon which we are going to use as our close button. We are going to add an interaction on this icon which is whenever we click on this icon, the interaction would be it will hide this entire section. Right now we are just using our footer so we have not given it any specific admin label. So first we go to this icon, we go to advance, again interactions. And here in the settings, we can see we have given it a label. Again, we are going to use the event as click and we are going to hide an element and which is our footer section. And then we click on our footer section. Right now it is positioned as default at the bottom of the page, but we want this pop-up to be in the fixed position. So we will go to advance and then in the position, instead of default, we will select fixed. And we can play around with our origin offset, but make sure we set the Z index as high as possible so that it will always stay on top of every module on our page. And once we have set this position, we go to interaction and we want this pop-up to load as soon as our page loads. So that's why again, we have given it a simple admin label. We have used the trigger event as load. So instead of click or mouse enter, we want this to load as soon as the page loads. So that's why we have load here. Then we have the action. So the action will be show element. That is show this entire section. And after that, we have the target module. And it's of course our footer section. And the delay we have set five seconds. You can use milliseconds or seconds. That's depending upon your requirement. So right now, just to show as a demo, we have kept it five seconds. So let's save this and we save our page again. And now this is the pop-up design that we have added at the bottom. And if we refresh our page, scroll down at the bottom, we can see the design is gone from the bottom. And now after five seconds, we got our pop-up. So we have our fixed position pop-up and we have a close button as well, which closes the pop-up as intended. And once again, options and use cases are endless. This is just a few examples to show you how you can use interactions on your page. Now here are the key features of DB5 interactions. For starters, it's all no code. Just point, click and create simple or advanced interactions. You can build all kind of interactions from lead grabbing pop-ups to scroll targeted fades and it's all super lightweight with no extra plugins that could slow down your website. Mix triggers for cool combos like pop-ups that waits for scroll and tweak it all for mobile with responsive settings. It's a design playground with no limits.
Why go all in on interactions? First, no plugin means faster, cleaner site. Everything baked inside your DB5 Visual Builder. It's beginner friendly and tool tips and clear setup. So anyone can jump in. You have got total creative control to mix and match effects. And it's all about engagement like pop-ups that converts or toggles that keep folks exploring. Your site is going to feel like a pro without any hassle. Now, before you dive into DB5 interactions, here are some handy tips. Make sure you go ahead and start simple. Play with pop-ups or toggles to get yourself a hang of it. Make sure you use admin labels to name your interactions and elements, especially when you have a busy page. Make sure you tap into presets for quick, consistent style and always test with preview feature to nail the experience. Make sure you check out the mobile views with responsive breakpoints so that you have a smooth design on every device. There you go. DB5 interactions are your secret sauce for building dynamic, no-code websites that instantly grab attention. From lead capturing pop-ups to scroll effects that dazzle, this feature makes it easy to create pro-level designs super fast. So ready to try it? Make sure you grab DB5 Public Alpha today and start exploring. It's super perfect for new sites, but hold off moving DB4 projects for now. And make sure you use the comment section below to drop your creations and do tag us on different social media platforms. We can't wait to see what you cook up. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.